If you're a travel blogger, AI is your friend. And I know I'm probably one of the only people saying that. Everyone else is like, ah, the world is on fire. But did you know that AI can actually help you earn more money from your travel blog? I know everyone's like, no, it's here to steal our jobs. It's actually here to give you a raise. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can leverage AI to make sure that you are earning more from your business without having to work a million hours. I work like five to 10 hours a week on my businesses and I have multiple, so like that's total. And the only reason that my travel blogs are able to continue earning very passively in the background is because of these systems. Now, today's video is sponsored by Travel Payout, so I wanna say a big thank you to them for really helping travel bloggers like you and I figure out how to scale our income without needing to like work a bajillion hours. They're helping us take ownership of our income and helping us automate our income, which I think is pretty freaking cool. If you haven't signed up to Travel Payouts yet, I really recommend joining. You can use code NINA and then you'll get $25 as a bonus when you get your first payout. But it's time for the important part. Let's go actually show you how I use AI to make more money in affiliate marketing for my travel blogs. One of the reasons that travel affiliate marketing is so hard is because everyone tells you it's just passive. Most affiliate marketing isn't passive. However, there are some things that are. And so Travel Payouts has created three AI tools that are gonna make your affiliate marketing so much easier. Even if you've just set up your travel blog, you can start these today. And then later in this video, we're gonna get into some more advanced things that I would say wait to do those till you actually have some dedicated affiliate posts. Okay, so the very first one we have is Link Switcher. Link Switcher basically combs through your website and finds any links that you have that you just like link to the homepage, like let's say booking.com. When we all start out, we're not in an affiliate program yet, we link to it and then we forget about it. And I'm not the best for remembering to go in and find all of those iterations. Link Switcher automatically does, which is so great. All you need to do, and it's the same script just to be clear for all of these, is grab this script here from Travel Payouts. You're gonna install it on your website and then you're done. It'll just start running. Now you can customize this if you want or exclude certain pages. For example, if you don't wanna have um, an affiliate link somewhere, if you have a sponsored post, I can see that being a, a kind of requirement, but usually I have it everywhere. And then this is going to auto run on your site. It can also convert links from something like CJ or Partnerize or wherever, because it is easier to have all of your affiliates in one place. And then you're not having to hunt down those payouts. Also, if you're a beginner and you're like waiting to hit the payout thresholds, this is a way to amalgamate everything together so easily. And unlike a lot of other ones, I've tried many in the past, like skim links, which massively slow down my site. I have seen no speed issues from this, which is pretty epic. Now, the next thing that they have is Emerald. So Travel Payouts Emerald inserts like these really cute boxes like this, which literally people have liked so much that people have been DMing me and emailing me being like, how did you do that? Other bloggers and even people saying it helped me so much that are just users. So people love the UX of this, which I think is really great. So it's going to add in blocks like this where I don't have to do anything. It's figured out that this post is about Ottawa. And so it is pulling what is relevant to the location. It's also pulling up-to-date information about the ratings and everything like that. And these links are affiliate links. So I don't need to worry about adding in the perfect kind of roundups and stuff in non-dedicated affiliate posts. And even in affiliate posts, I can block this out if I want to, or I can have it working overtime for me, kind of showing up more so for my audience. You'll also see that it has one like this, where it has a hotel, it has some sort of activity, so it's gonna try and pull from whatever's local with Viator. Viator, Viator, I don't know how to pronounce it. It is what it is, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and so here you can see it's specifically pulling up tours related to things to do in Ottawa. And then it always has a rental car as well. I found this really, really helpful because most of us don't want to have to go through and slot in some kind of generic links and then still have to type out something unique each time so that it actually references what's happening in the area. This does it for you. And literally, it is so easy to set up. <laughs> you come here, you install that code from before, and it just works. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Now, you can also customize it, again, because we want to make sure that you feel confident where these are showing up. You need to take ownership of the structure of your site. And so you can go through and you can like exclude certain pages if you want. You can set up if there's certain things that you um, want to have on certain pages, maybe pages you don't want it to have it on. You can do all of that here. 
which is so helpful. But this is my favorite part. Right now with Travel Payouts, they have turned their analytics into something that is actually AI powered and is going to get you so much more helpful information. Most of the time, we have to rely on something like Google Analytics and then like weird tracking in like impact and partner eyes, but it's from like every individual thing. And then you have to put in a million sub IDs and every single student I've had that has come to me has not used a sub ID before. I've had one person in my entire time with clients ever have used sub IDs when we first started working together. If you don't know what that is, you're not alone and you don't need to know what that is, which is really great. So travel payouts, what it's going to do is it figures out which posts on your site are actually converting. Where are your visits coming from? Who's clicking on these affiliate links? Who's booking from this? Where are your bookings coming from? You can also see that they have two different CTR rates. So we have conversion from unique visits to clicks, and then we have clicks to bookings, which I think that's the most important one that basically no platform covers. <laughs> or if they do, they cover it from the click of their link. You can't see it next to your um, visits to click rate. So this has been so helpful for me in figuring out what's converting on my site. Y'all know I love an audit. I've got a million audits on this channel, but affiliate audits are a key part of that. And auditing your affiliates at least once a year, if not more often, is really important to figure out what's working. So historically, I had to make this chart myself. I had to figure all this out. I had to be tracking everything. I had to have a million sub IDs to figure out what's going on. Here, it's all done for you. So you can see we can filter by the specific tools to see what made our sale. We can filter by the specific programs as well to see what was converting for us. And all of this is happening without you needing to do anything but install that initial script. Data is the most valuable thing we can have to improve our affiliate conversions. So if nothing else, if you're like, you know what, Nina, Link Switcher isn't for me. Maybe you don't like the, I honestly, I think they're really cute, <laughs> the blocks for some reason. If nothing else, this is so powerful. I have literally spent thousands of dollars a year before on tools that did this kind of to a very different, often kind of minimal degree. So this is way more advanced and I 10 out of 10 recommend using this. So how do we actually use it though to make more money? Well, first of all, we can take a look at this doing an affiliate audit and figure out what's converting best for us, which posts are converting best for us, which affiliates are converting best for us, and which type of uh, tool is actually going to make us the most money. Whatever's working, there's a term called steering into the skid. Basically, like if you hit black ice in Canada, we steer into the skid rather than out of it. And when you steer into it, you regain control. The same thing happens here. And so when you find a post that is doing the best for affiliates, my restaurants and Ottawa post is apparently doing very well um, for some reason. I don't really know why, <laughs> but it's doing pretty well for clicks and conversions. Number one, do I have any affiliates in that post? No. Other than the emerald stuff that's being auto inserted, I could do a lot more to convert that post by putting in food tours and things like that. So there we go. We found affiliate opportunities. But I can also see, okay, maybe my things to do an Ottawa post, it's not converting the way that I want to. What's happening? Is that because people aren't clicking? Is it because not enough people are visiting the post? Do I need to go look at my rankings for it? We want to analyze like what's happening to improve. And then if you find a post where you're like, this post is making me the most money, it is doing so well, we want to figure out why. What part of the post is converting? Is it that this block here is converting the most? Okay, well, what is the text around it? What are the images around it? What's the text inside of it? What can we do to make this happen again and again in other areas? I do a lot of launches in my business and I tend not to do the same launch twice, which is like basically bad practice from what everyone tells me because you're supposed to like look at what worked and then just keep doing it. I personally like to keep doing it and then tweak one thing. And I think that that's what has made me really successful with sales for affiliates and for products is that I'm constantly testing. I'm constantly running these analyses and I'm figuring out what's working, what didn't work, because sometimes it will flop and that's okay. We have to analyze that. A flop is not a negative, it's just more data. And companies pay a bajillion dollars for data like this, so be glad that you can get it for free. <laughs> so we're gonna take all that information and then we're gonna figure out what we can do to convert better. 
Now, something that I like to pair with this is in ChatGPT, I have built a custom GPT that knows my business. It knows my audience. It knows my niche. It knows my topic clusters and my sitemap. It basically is like a She Knows SEO master GPT. I have one for my Ottawa site. I have one for every single site that I have. And from that, I basically have it act as my ideal audience and I'll have it analyze things with me. So I could take this best restaurant in Ottawa, Ontario, take the link, paste it in there, and then say, like, help me analyze this from the perspective of my user. It's working really well. We're making a lot of sales with booking.com. Why? Like, what's happening? Because honestly, we don't always know. And as much as we want to be able to do amazing pattern recognition, if you've got 60 posts to do pattern recognition on, I'm autistic, but I'm not that kind of autistic, so I'm not very good at that. And so I can actually have ChatGPT do that analysis with me to make sure that I'm figuring out what worked. Same thing, you can take three different posts if you're like, hey, all three of these convert really well for my certain affiliate for, let's say, booking.com. What's similar about them? Why are these working? And then this one isn't working. What was I doing in that first one that I'm not doing in this one? That can be really helpful to basically get some like harsh critique from an AI. I know that everyone's like, ah, AI, like whatever. First of all, with a custom GPT, you can turn it off so it can't train on your data, so it can't read what you're putting in there and like actually retain it. Um, but second of all, you can create frameworks with this that you're then able to analyze way faster. So from that, you can save thousands of dollars hiring an affiliate marketing expert to do an audit like this because you are able to do it. Honestly, you know your affiliates best, you know your audience best. All of these tools are allowing you to take ownership of your affiliate income. Okay, but we did all of that, and I know some people are still like, Nina, I turned on the AI, nothing's converting. And when I look at their site, there are some really obvious reasons why. So I wanted to go through that here with you guys. So this is a site that I haven't worked on in over a year. It's not something I spend a lot of time on. It's a case study site I started and stopped due to health reasons. But it still makes money. It's not doing as amazingly as it was before. Totally fair. But that's also because I stopped literally doing anything with it. <laughs> um, but the money that it does make come from specific posts. Just having posts does not guarantee you income. It's why I often say like even page views are kind of a vanity metric because you're not earning money just because you have page views from an affiliate standpoint. You have to convert those people. So how do we do that? Well, this post is my nine places to visit in Ottawa from a local. So me, a local, I've actually been to all these places. Um, I haven't stayed at every hotel, but I've been to the regions. That's what I'm focused on here. And so I know that booking.com converts really well for this site. Currently, I have it running through Stay 22 as a test um, to compare to travel payouts. But overall, it's still booking.com, just to be clear. So with that, I know that booking.com is a great affiliate for this site. So I want to figure out how can I write more to prep people to be ready to book. Just because I have like the emerald showing up in things to do in Ottawa, is someone who's looking for things to do in Ottawa, maybe they've already booked a hotel, maybe like they don't even know if they're going to come to visit yet, maybe they um, still need that extra help. And what I find a lot of bloggers do, especially travel bloggers, is they write one post on a place and then they leave. And that doesn't help anybody. What they need to do is nurture those people and write posts like this that are kind of hovering into affiliate intent. Nine places to visit could be neighborhoods. It could be hotels. If it was like nine best hotels in Ottawa, that's clearly an affiliate post. But this one is kind of bridging that gap. Okay, now you know that there are things to do that you love. You want to figure out where to stay. And this is kind of basing it around what you want to do. So based on what you want to do, let me help you figure out where to stay. Based on that, now let's figure out which hotel is best for you in those specific neighborhoods. That's a funnel, and we want to make sure we have that on our site. So what I'd recommend to you is if you've got these things running and you're like, hey, still not making affiliate money, the first thing you need to stop doing is convincing yourself that you are not made for affiliates. That's what I used to do, and it doesn't help you. Instead, what you need to do is be like, no. I need to figure out how to convert people so that I'm actually helping them feel ready to make that booking because that's what makes the change. It's not necessarily that your post doesn't make sense or that your individual review of Discover cars isn't converting because it doesn't rank. First of all, send traffic to it internally. Second of all, we need to make sure that we're prepping someone from beginning to end 
so that they're coming to you and they're trusting you the entire time through making that decision. And from that, you're setting up a funnel that is going to automate things time and time again. Now, that didn't really include AI, did it? Well, I want you to go back to that AI I mentioned before, like using a custom GPT. And I want you to figure out how you can connect and tell a story to your audience based on your existing content. So you can actually say, like, this is what I have so far um, for this topic cluster, for this content silo, for whatever words you want to use to call a grouping of topics. Um, now I want to help people book a hotel. How can I do that? Like, how can I reasonably do that if I was having a conversation with my audience? And I find pretending to talk to your person can make it a lot easier to actually sell without being salesy. And then ultimately, you also need to be writing about places and things that have affiliates. So for example, here I have like cherry blossoms in Ottawa. That's not going to convert for an affiliate. Why? Because there aren't cherry blossom tours in Ottawa, so it doesn't make sense. Sure, if you're like looking for a hotel solely because of the cherry blossoms, I guess that could convert, but the intent isn't there. And so that's why, while AI makes it more passive, it's not truly passive. You have to still have strategy, okay? I don't want you falling into the trap of, oh, well, I turned it on, so now I should make a million dollars. You're going to make a lot more money when you get strategic with it. And so I want you to have this on so that you're able to like make even more money and kind of like find those income leaks. But we also want you to like actually build pipelines for that like amazing, I want to say like link juice because that's a term that SEOs use, but basically just a flood of income. And that needs to come from you actually writing about things that relate to the affiliate side of stuff. So some people have sites that there aren't Viator affiliates. Okay, well then you got to try and optimize for Get Your Guide. If um, there's no hotels in your area and there's like literally nothing, then you're not going to make hotel bookings. Simple as that. So we really want to make sure we are being strategic with this so that you're able to do that analysis and really figure out what's going to work for you. Pro tip, if you don't want to have to like comb through Viator or, or booking.com or something yourself, you can actually ask ChatGPT as well. Just make sure that you have web search turned on and then say like, hey, I have a blog about XYZ. Um, I'm trying to find tours in the area that are via Viator, get your guide, whatever. And it can do that searching for you. You can even put in a tour and say, hey, I did this tour. Help me figure out an angle that I can actually write a post about this. It's not perfect, I would say, with like the angles. So like play around with it, get it to give you 10 and then like figure out what fits. But ultimately, leverage AI. That's the main thing I want you to take away from this. Look, affiliate marketing can seem really scary. It doesn't have to be. And that's why I really want you to get started with tools like this that take away a lot of that fear or that like, weird perception that we need to be a perfect salesperson to do any affiliate marketing. Yes, you still need strategy. I covered that in this video as well, but by turning on simple AI tools like the ones inside of travel payouts, you can start essentially paying yourself dividends for the work that you've already done and start collecting really key data so that when you start optimizing and building that strategy, you have something to build off of. I wanna to thank today's sponsor again. Thank you Travel Payouts for sponsoring this video and making sure that travel bloggers know how to make more money from their website. So if you wanna try out Travel Payouts and you haven't yet, there's going to be a link below. It's gonna be on screen in a couple of places and you can use the code NINA to get $25 credit added on to your first payout. I'm going to put my full travel payouts review on screen right now for you guys to check out the amazing other features that they have. So check that out now and go check out travel payouts. Have a great rest of your day and happy travel blogging.